So I want to tell you guys a story. God damn bone. Um. I look like shit, but. I'm not sleeping very well. I cried really hard yesterday. I've been in a lot of pain. It's crazy, you guys. I'm dealing with it, though, man. I'm dealing with it, and, um. I'm happy with my progress. I really am. And I really do feel a lot better than I look right now. I haven't been up that long, probably an hour or so. But I was talking to uh, Zigzag through a thread, and we were talking about the West Nile and um, how he had it too. And so I wanted to share this story. When my son was 11 years old, he caught West Nile. And I'll spare you all the gory details, except for this. Um, after he, he was hospitalized and they sent him home, um, because there was nothing else they could do for him, um, they gave him some steroid and some pain reliever, which um, the pain reliever, my son later told me, you know, didn't help him at all. Um, he thinks, you know, pretty much what helped him was the was steroid, so I think it was this. Um, although at the time I was um, learning and dabbling in, into some um, powwow, which is a form of um, natural medicine. Um, you know, like the medicine man who now goes to church <laughs> or whatever. No, it's not that. Just look it up. It's it's too hard for me to explain to you. Um, but, but it uses chants and um, it uses, you know, herbal medicines and um, intentional medicine. Like in intentional, I don't know. Anyway, it's going to ruin my story. So this is what I did. Um, it was a full moon, and I took a silver stainless steel pot, and I put my grandma's great big crystal in it. I, I was I filled the I filled it with salt water, with sea salt water, you know, because sea salt is kind of like our tears, you know, and that represented my feelings and the crystal represented my antenna to the divine I guess I thought I needed at the time and I took many herbs from my shelves um, I'm a kind of person I like to go out and gather herbs in in the wild and um, keep them in little jars like some crazy scientist but um, I put some rose petals and some lavender and some chamomile and some other things and I called out to the Virgin Mary and I begged her to talk to me because if there was anybody that could understand a mother's agony it would be the Virgin Mary right I'm going straight past everybody else I want to know, I want to talk to somebody that knows about being a mom. I'm going to that energy. It doesn't matter what you want to call it. It was there. Whether it was just my belief or not. It was there. And she answered me. And she embraced me. And she told me what to do. And so, an hour before sunrise, I prepared another pot of cool salt water and I meditated with it and I spoke to the water and I got um, a white towel and I cut a piece from it because it um, I'll tell you why and I went in to my son as he just laid there with the tears just rolling still he couldn't do anything. He couldn't speak. He couldn't walk. He couldn't hold down a meal. And if you've ever had a headache or a migraine, 
Imagine having that for a week or two, or even three weeks. Imagine that being your last memory is a headache of this life or whatever, you know what I mean? I just felt horrible. So I did exactly what she told me to do. I started at his head, at his forehead, and I took that water and squeezed it out and I took the rag and I just wiped down. Rinse, wipe down, rinse, wipe down, rinse, wipe down, and I just kept going, and then I came back up around his head, and I just put my hands on him slowly and around, and with my eyes closed, I chanted something that I made up in a whisper as I had touched his head and it wasn't me, maybe my intention, but it was not a physical thing that happened and I could feel the energy and I knew, well, the whole time I was doing this, the Virgin Mary was over my shoulder my left shoulder and there was angels in the room and the next morning I woke up and my son was standing there and I thought oh my god I said what and he goes mom my headache's gone I'm starving I said, well, let's not go crazy. How about we try some soup? If you keep that down, I'll make you whatever you want. He goes, man, I want some pizza. <laughs> and I want my Game Boy. Where's my Game Boy? He survived. He survived. Was it because I believed? Was it because the Virgin Mary was there? Was she really there? Doesn't matter what you believe. It was my belief. That went to her. It's just a virus. Attitude is everything, guys. Belief is everything. Faith, knowing, knowledge is so important. Your attitude is so important. Let me say that again. Your attitude, yours. And you're important. And I love you. Now I gotta go do laundry. Because my new puppy likes to pee on my quilt. Yes. This is the second time in a week I had to go wash my quilt. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. He's a little turd. Bye.